It's almost scary in there. Make sure my camera's picking it up. Yeah, we'll call that good. Wow. Yeah. This is why they recommend a helmet if you're going in a cave. Hit your head on that ceiling. You might damage the ceiling or your head. People these days are so used to not watching where they're going that it boggles their mind that they might be expected to watch where they're going. Okay. not mine but I'll pick it up anyway hopefully it's not too gross all right anyway here we go they do a good job of keeping the litter out of these caves uh, there's like almost no litter or vandalism in this cave the only thing is there's like a pile of rocks marking one of the ways out which is ironic because it marks the hardest way out there's an easier way out so it's like follow those rocks at your own risk See now I'm kind of up a little bit on my on my knees and still my belly. I can breathe. See look at that, there's a little bit of blue paint there. But I think they said if it's more than 50 years old, it's historical, so they're not gonna clean it up. But yeah, look at the floor here. Since people haven't been crawling over there, there's that gold stuff everywhere. So, like I said, I bet when the cave was discovered, the whole floor was like that. There's a puddle over here. Wow, this is neat. These caves are all wet this time of year. It's raining outside right now. It's like 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's nice and wet, lots of moisture. And then of course the rocks have cracks. So the moisture comes down, can form puddles like this. This is really cool. See, I'm glad I came here when it's wet, even though I'm gonna get myself all wet too. Oh well, I got a towel at home. I'll survive. Fascinating. I'm standing up now, but I hunched over. Notice there's a nice bump in the road here. Speed bump. Wow, look how pretty the ceiling is. You see some water drops forming where they're about to drop down, drip down. But yeah, this is a case where you have to be expert at watching your feet so you don't trip over a rock. And then uh, if you do trip, make sure you can catch yourself. You don't want to fall on your face here. I might not be good. I'm standing up now. The ceiling's almost seven feet tall here on the left. Maybe closer to eight feet, but as you see, it's coming down again. That's stupid. There's a blue arrow here pointing. Like it could get lost or something. Come on. I gotta admit, there's a couple cases I've seen where paint marked the way. It helped me, but most of the time it's just kind of silly. Wow, there's a hole in the ceiling here. Who would have guessed there'd be a hole in the cave? <laughs> it's solid rock, but it's almost like hornet's nest. It looks natural. I don't think it's a drill. Some caves, like Merrill Cave, they had drills where they, uh, they had a walkway, a steel walkway. So they had to drill holes in the wall to uh, make the walkway hold still so it doesn't tip over. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's getting interesting here. Now, as you can tell by the floor, oops, I need to pan down. You can tell by the floor I'm going downhill. Like I said, the uh, entrance is near the upper end of the cave. Okay, now look at this. It splits two ways here. Before I bother to get myself stuck, I'm gonna cheat. I gotta print out of the map here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and look at the map.